Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Becca and on this channel I am reacting my way through eating disorder recovery alongside complex chronic illness one video at a time and today I'm finally getting to a cover actually that many of you have requested and I'm doing this in part because I'm a huge Eminem stan and have been since like 2000 and this is going to be the cover that Casey Chambers did of Lose Yourself and so many of you have asked me to do this one. I just finished recording my reaction to Money Game Part 1. I wanted to do 1, 2, and 3 all in one day, but my, my brain needs a break. It was pretty intense, so Lose Yourself, I at least know the song, so I know the lyrics, I know what's coming, I'm not gonna have to unpack the meaning there, but I'm really curious to see what her take on this is, because I have heard that it's like amazing and like one of the most unique takes and covers out there, so without any further ado, I'm, I'm gonna get to that and just, just see what's, see what's coming here for us, because I'm, I'm really eager to see what she's doing with this song. Of course, it's an iconic song, and this is a live performance, so she's got a banjo here in the thumbnail. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna be. I'm, 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 I'm nervously excited about this one, like excited and nervous in a good way. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti in him. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She already those first two lines? Oh, I can't wait to see what's happening with this, because oh my goodness gracious. She has turned, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on a sweater already, mom's spaghetti. She's turned that into this beautiful melodic phrase, and those words, unless you're like paying super close attention to the words, the way that she's delivering this in this style with the banjo, and the way she's picking it, by the way, is masterful and really well done. But the way she's delivering that is completely already changed the vibe of the whole song, and I'm really excited to see how this all sounds with with her general vibe here. Oh, she's gonna be new. She's gonna be one of my new favorites, isn't she? I'm gonna be a new fan, aren't I? <laughs> There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, and he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting. Okay, I do want to remark on this really quickly. I am going to let this play more often than I pause it simply because, again, I don't have the dissect the lyrics, but I do want to point out something she's doing here. She's not only delivering this in extremely melodic musical phrases, but she's also emphasizing the words that do rhyme. So he's saying, palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on a sweater already, mom spaghetti. And then he went down, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. So I like the way, I like the way that she's doing that and putting the emphasis on the words there and stretching those out as part of the musical phrase. It's oh my gosh, I'm getting chills already. Are you serious? He looks calm and ready to drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd rolls so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out, and he's choking now. Everybody's choking now, and the clock's run out. Time's up. Snap. Okay, before she gets into that second part there, I just, <laughs> she's delivering this in such a perfect folk style here, like classic folk, like banjo, old school folk music. That's the style that she's doing here, and it is just, it is blowing my mind, and we're only at the beginning. And I love the way that she delivered that part, where she's like, everybody's choking now, the clock's run now, time's up. And she kind of just takes a pause and breathes there. My brain was expecting to hear the over blow in there and she didn't say those. She started going right back into snap back to reality so I'm, I'm excited to see how she delivers that part but I love the effect that, that had. It's a time's up and then the instrumental in her voice they just kind of paused and faded out for a minute. So like time's up that was a very illustration of the time being up the silence starting and then she's getting it back snap back into reality like I'm ah okay I'm already loving this. Choking now. Everybody's choking now and the clock's run out. Time's up. Snap back to reality, oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes rabbit, he's choked, he's so mad, but he won't give up that easy, no, he won't have it, he knows his hope backs to these ropes, it don't matter, he's stoked, he knows that he's broke, he's stagnant, he knows when he goes back. Back to the lab again. The 
soul wraps me. Better go capture this moment and hope it don't pass him. Holy crap! <laughs> You guys, thank you. Thank you for letting me know this exists. This is amazing. This is freaking awesome. I want to give her props before I remark on the song itself. I want to give her props for her delivery and her ability to experiment with the melody because she has not just repeated the same melody in each phrase in each section. She is experimenting a lot with the melody and flipping it around. And I love the way she's doing that, the way she's taking it up high on some parts and like coming right back down. Those, those dynamics and the pitches she's using are just... <laughs> They just add a whole new dimension to the song that I didn't know I needed, but I absolutely did need. And I'm also loving her choices of rhythm and rests and pauses in different places. Like, better go capture this moment and hope it don't pass. And the way she's delivering that is just so emotional. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in absolute freaking awe right now. Wow. Moment and hope it don't pass him. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let go. Only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity. Comes once in a lifetime. Are you kidding me, sis? Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so not only love the way she delivered the lifetime and the way she's like, lifetime, and then she went into the, like singing the two other notes there that were just so strong and so powerful and crescendoing there. Oh my gosh, the creativity, the artistry, the creativity that she's put into this is, I've, I've never seen anything like it. I've literally, this is something that's super unique and I've never seen anything quite like it. And it's given me freaking chills. M has seen this. I hope he's seen this because he appreciates good music. Even though he is a hip hop artist himself, he appreciates music and I, I don't have words. I'm speechless. This is, oh, this is special. So the soap opera is told and unfolds, I suppose it's so partner, but the beat goes on. Ba -da -da -dum -ba -dum. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity comes once in a
yeah, we're gonna pause it and we'll go back so we don't miss this transition, of course, but you, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. She was delivering all of this up to this point in like the most folksy tone possible, this soul. She has this soulful quality to her voice and the way she crescendos and just kind of fills up the room with her whole voice and the fullness of her voice and her tone is just extremely impressive and so perfect, like I said, for that folk music genre with the banjo. And now girls rocking out with the banjo and making this like a hard rock song. I, <laughs> I did not expect that. And I don't know if this is just like someone who plays in the band on whatever stage that she's performing on. If this is like someone who's just on the TV band or whatever, who's doing the playing and the harmonizing with her in different parts. So if you know who that is, I haven't had a chance to figure that out. Let me know down below. It may just be someone who's on there, though. You may not know exactly who it is. That's no problem, but she's just... She, oh my gosh. I did not expect this perfect execution of a folk version of the song to suddenly turn into, like, this hard rock version where she's sitting there, like, playing the banjo hard rock style, and I'm like... Girl! Ooh! Ooh, this is special! One of a freaking kind! My goodness! dog's cage and I was playing in the beginning and the mood all changed while well, I've been chewed up and spit out and booed off stage but I can't rhyme and it's never right the next night best believe somebody's playing the pipe piper on this pain inside amplified by the fact that I I did not want to pause it throughout that whole verse because, oh my gosh, that power, the conviction, the way she was feeling those lyrics, the way that she was delivering the, again, the words that rhyme, she was delivering them like with this super, super powerful, soulful, full voice and crescendoing on those things and like emphasizing them. And, and I love that she did kind of what I'm doing here as I react. A lot of times she's like pointing in that one part where she's pointing, saying the words and saying the words and saying the words. And you can see it on her face. She's like feeling this and really getting into the lyrics and really delivering them. And oh, <laughs> you saw my physical reaction. There's not a whole lot more that I can say because my physical reaction totally embodied how I feel about this right now. This is what my heart needed and I didn't realize it because this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, I can't wait to see how it finishes. But like I said, I didn't want to interrupt that whole section and pause it because, oh, it just kept escalating. The power kept escalating in the most magnificent, amazing way. Oh boy. Yes, yes. You better lose yourself in the music the most.
goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. I've watched a lot of covers in a lot of genres of Lose Yourself over the years. Never in my daggone life in the 22 years since this, no, 21 years since this song came out have I heard one like that. Wow. 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 I'm, I'm stunned. I'm literally stunned. I knew she was going to be awesome because, again, so many of you have said it's just amazing and you knew I'd love it. You're right, by the way. But, like, that last chorus, again, she started off, did the first verse and chorus, and even a lot of the second verse in that more folk style. Then went on to the second chorus, that last verse, and then this last chorus in this, like, literally like hard rock type style that she could she could easily hold her own on stage with any of the top rockers out there whether in the past or or present day like she's so good how did i not hear of her before you guys mentioned her glad you mentioned her because now i will 100 percent be diving into more of her stuff but that was special oh my gosh that was so special i don't i'm running out of adjectives i'm running out of words i'm running out of ability to articulate myself because i've i'm just kind of reeling in the best way from that that was such a fun thing to witness. It was such an invigorating and just enrapturing and enthralling performance that just pulls you in and oh my goodness. Oh, that was wonderful. I, I don't, like I said, I don't have anything else to say. That was awesome. Her dynamics, her delivery, her voice, it fit the folk style perfectly well with the way she was reserved and holding back in parts, the way she was pronouncing some words and accenting some things, and then they got into the hard rock part. And her voice was just as powerful, if not more so, simply because she was projecting more and doing that style more. But the melodies she incorporated into this are so unique and so just... Did she write this cover melody herself? Because if she is not only performing this, but if she also wrote this melody for this cover herself, I... What else is there to say? She's a genius. Even if she didn't write it, she's still a genius because she executed it better than I'm sure anyone could trying to do it in the same way. So, oh boy. Glad we did that one today for sure. I know my heart needed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really appreciate you requesting it and not sure what exactly is coming right next, but whatever it is, I hope you take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.